Hey everyone, welcome to another session of MS Android. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. And in this class, I'm going to help you to understand and manage the services related to Office 365. And in Office 365, today we'll discuss about how to configure Teams. So whenever we sign up ourselves over Office 365 and purchase a license, you will get our access of n number of services. Like as we are able to access the Outlook, offline and online, both options are available. You can use your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, multiple Office tools can help you in single subscription. So, but our agenda to understand about how to manage the Teams, we are able to find one icon which is considered as a Teams. As for the name suggests, the meaning of Teams means you are making a collection of multiple uh, employees or multiple user account. And with the help of Teams, we are able to perform n number of tasks like assign the task to multiple user by single click. You can create a meeting link that you can that you can use for the various purpose like as a day to day connectivity or you can assign the uh, you can create the meeting for the online training and a number of things you can perform with the help of Teams. So I'm going to help you to understand properly how we can utilize the team services. So right now I have already logged in my root account. This one is my root account and I'm using F3 license, which is fully free. In F3, no need to use any credit or debit card. You can just sign up yourself with the help of Gmail account and you are able to access the services for 30 days. So let's talk about the Teams. So Teams is one of important tool of Office 365 that help us to manage our environment, office environment, or you can say that manage the uh, conversation between the employees. So we have a two different way to access the team. One, you can proceed with the, uh, if we talk about the configure team, so we have a two different way to manage our team. Like you can proceed with offline, uh, uh, with the help of application means you just need to download the application on your on-premises. For example, this is our on-premises machine. Not only the laptop or desktop, the Teams version available for uh, mobile and iPad as well. So one, uh, one you can just uh, download Teams app, right? So with the help of application, you can you just need to download the application and install on on-premises machine, and you can start using services. And second option, we you, we have option to proceed with the Teams on web. Means you directly need to open the URL teams.microsoft.com, and it will redirect you on page of uh, Microsoft Teams. Teams on web so we have a both options so if you are using means uh, it's mandatory to use the teams on daily basis so better you just need to download the teams on your on-premises machine and just provide the credential and start using services so let's start uh, in our case i have already created multiple office 365 users like we just need to open admin center and under the admin center we'll find the information about multiple users that we already created so we just need to open microsoft 365 admin center that help you to understand about the number of users that we created and we just need to click home page and it will sorry just need to click so all select users we need to click on active user in the active user panel you are able to find the number of users that you created so in our case, we have AWS, GCP, multiple users are available. I'm going to use AWS user account because we successfully assigned the license to AWS account. I'm going to use my AWS account to access the services of Teams, right? So uh, let me copy the username and open incognito wizard and uh, type teams.microsoft.com, right? This is the URL that you can use to, uh, that you can, uh, that help you to open your uh, Microsoft team on web. It will redirect you on page of Microsoft team and just need to sign in because you wanted to use the web and we have another option just need to download. But I'm going to use uh, web and after that we'll discuss about how we can utilize the team services using on-premises machine using application. Provide the user's information means you need to provide your user ID and password to sign in yourself over a team, not for Outlook or other services. 
because our responsibility to understand about the features that contained by the teams okay still is in progress wait for a few seconds okay we successfully log in our web uh, teams and uh, this is the look of our web team i used my office 365 account that we created with the help of our root admin so aws at the rate teach me cloud dot something dot on microsoft dot com and uh, i haven't created any kind of uh, uh, teams yet so firstly we just need to identify the options that we are able to find in uh, teams panel so now i'm going to guide you about the usage of teams using web app web and uh, later we'll discuss about how to use the application because the application can provide more option instead of our uh, what we can say that web application uh, uh, teams on web let's start from left side so left panel in left panel we are able to find n number of options are available consider as a navigation bar and in the navigation bar we are able to find activity then chat then teams then task assign shift and uh, these all are the option approvals calendar calls and application services so what we need to do uh, let's talk about the teams under the teams we are able to find multiple option like this is our domain name that uh, we use to sign up ourselves over office 365 and we have option to join our creator teams i'm going to click on create or join we have a two different way to proceed and create our uh, kind of uh, group the first option join a team with code if you have already created and you want to be a part of a particular group so just proceed with the help of code but if you are owner of this particular portal and you wanted to create your own uh, group, so just need to click on create team. It will give us a two option or n number of templates are available like create from scratch, manage event from a group or team, manage project, n number of options are available. In our case, I'm going to create our group or teams from scratch. Just need to click here and it will again give us a two different option one is private if you want to authorize if you want to add the user if you want to provide the access of our application or folder or files uh, only for the selected purpose person you just need to proceed with private if you want to open for anyone so proceed with the public so what i'm going to do i'm going to proceed uh, with the uh, um, public now and later we'll discuss about uh, uh, how we can manage the private so I'm going to create an event with the name of uh, cloud training, right? This is the event name. I'm going to click create. Uh, you can see that this is the container. Under the cloud training, we are able to perform lots of tasks. Second important point, it's uh, just need to add the members. The members means that you created the number of users that you created uh, using your admin portal. So I'm going to add uh, gcp gcp is our user just need to type the name and uh, another user that we have already created like second user third user is teach me cloud so just need to provide the information so i'm going to add three different member who responsible to access the services are uh, file and folders of cloud training click add so three users we successfully added three members in our uh, group click close it now let's talk about general tab so you authorize the access for cloud training folder only for three members we have option to change the member anytime we have option to add or remove the members anytime but you should uh, contain the feature of admin we just need to click on three dots it will give us option to click on add channel add member leap team edit team and multiple options are available in the general tab just need to right click here it will provide you the information about like you wanted to share the link of this particular group so just need to copy the channel link and send to anyone who want to access your uh, means uh, group second important point just need to click on plus icon in the plus icon you just need to type the name of your application that you want to attach with this particular group 
like you wanted to add Wikipedia, Excel, PowerPoint, any kind of files that you wanted to add, you just need to search and select. It will be automatically be a part of our training group. So this is my file. Open it and what you want to do personal data, you can upload the personal data from our on premises. So you can create a library and uh, provide the access of your library. We are able to find files. If you want to create any file, just need to click new, create a folder like uh, training recording. So you just need to create a folder and you can save the information about the class recording or training recording. This is the folder which uh, which is accessed by only the members that you added. So you can upload any data from on premises like just need to click upload, click file. I'm going to show you how we can upload the data from on premises, select download. I wanted to upload my certificate. Just need to select the PDF document, any kind of file. And within second, we are able to upload the same data, the same data accessed by the multiple users that you added. Like we added a GCP and uh, 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 I think teach me cloud and multiple users that we added, they all are able to access the same application or same folder that you uploaded. So it means that we can say that the usage of this particular icon, you can just create a teams or group of members, a group of employees. Those employees are able to access the same location based file. So guys, this is the basic information about the teams. As it is, we have a n number of options like as uh, let's talk about the calendar. So in the calendar, we are able to create a type of uh, meeting. Like I wanted to create a meeting for uh, any technical training. So just need to click on new meeting. It will give us option to type the name. I wanted to start a meeting for VMware online training. Okay. This is the name of our uh, uh, meeting. And this is another option that help us to uh, add the members in our meeting. So I wanted to add uh, AWS. Okay, right now we are on page of AWS. So you must need to type another username GCP and another username like this. We successfully added three different members who are responsible to join the meeting uh, that you created. Second important point, you can decide the timing. Like you wanted to start from 4 p.m. IST to 4.30. I wanted to make it free uh, 5 p.m. one hour on daily basis. You can schedule the meeting. You can uh, decide the end date as well, like does not repeat. So we have a multiple option. I'm going to proceed with daily basis till start date till I wanted to set it for uh, 28th of February. Means it's a five days program. So you can start from 23rd and end on 28th. I'm just going to just click add, no need to do anything and click send. We successfully created a teams. We successfully created a meeting uh, for the technical training of uh, VMware. So every day for 4 p.m. IST, you just need to open like 23rd. If you proceed for the next 25th, uh, 24, 23, 24 and next. 27 and 28 because uh, Saturday Sunday it's uh, means usage as a week off. So that's why we are able to find 25th uh, and 6th because it's a weekend. So 1, 2 and next 28th is the last day. So AWS is an organizer means because we log in our teams using AWS account. So AWS user account as a work as an organizer and this is the meeting name. Anyone can open the meeting. Anyone can start the meeting and the members that you added, they are all are able to join the same meeting. So guys, this is the basic information. I hope you understand about the concept. If you have any question or doubt, please let me know, drop a comment. And uh, this is the first uh, part of our teams using because in the teams, we will discuss lots of things and number of services are available. So we'll try to understand each and every point, but in next season. So thank you guys. Take care. We'll connect soon with another video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel.